Hi everyone, this is Charity with Stamping with Charity and today I am going to show you how I made this birthday card. To get started, we need a piece of cardstock and I use Blushing Bride that is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter and seven and a half. I'm going to set that aside because I want to show you how I did this white layer first because we need to set it aside and let it dry for a minute. So I have taken a piece of white cardstock, basic white cardstock, cut at three inches by five and a quarter, and I ran it through the embossing folder that matches the Fine Art Floral Suite. Now what I'm going to do is take my Versamark pad and lightly run it over. I'm just trying to hit and miss different spots on this white cardstock. And I can always come back and add more And then I'm going to take my my um, heat and stick powder and sprinkle it on top. Before I set that, I want to clean this back up. Okay, now I'm going to set this. Okay, and now I'm going to take the gilded gold leafing and I'm going to add some of the gold leafing on here. And I'm just rubbing it around. And every card will be a little bit different depending on where your Versamark got stuck. So now I'm just rubbing the gold leafing off. Tapping it off. Okay. I think I like that. We're going to go with that for right now. So I'm going to pick up my gold leafing because this stuff is very light and fluffy and it will blow around everywhere. And now the next step that I am going to do is I want to take a block and I'm going to put a little drop of my Blushing Bride Reinker on here. And I'm going to take my water painter and make sure I have some water coming out. And I'm just going to start by moistening the cardstock in areas. And add some water to thin down this ink. And then come in and lightly add some color here and there. I want some of the white to show through. And I can always go back and add more. I 
I tried um, doing it where you just drop it on there, but I, I got too much. So I find that it works best that you water it down and then kind of do like a wash. Okay. I am going to heat set that again just to help it dry a little faster. And then I want to make sure that the gold leafing is really attached. So I'll just flip it over and take a clear block and run it over the back and that'll make sure that all your gold leafing is really pressed in it. Okay, so now let's come back to our card base and we'll let that finish drying. To do my card base, I'm going to use the two-step floral pattern out of the fine art and I'm first going to stamp it in Blushing Bride and I'm going to randomly stamp it along that one inch section and I have a laminated piece of grid paper here so I can just wipe that off. I'm coming back with my, my second step of this flower be, because it is a two-step flower and I'm stamping it in Mary Merlot. Okay, now, as you can see, now since we have this layer ready, this is going to go in here and this is going to glue over on top of it. So I'm going to take some multi-purpose glue and it's going to give me a little wiggle room. And I'm going to glue this down, leaving a border all the way around, pressing it down. And then we're going to glue this flap down. Press and hold it for a minute. Okay, now we're going to grab the other piece of the white, basic white cardstock that we cut that was three inches by five and a quarter, and we are going to stamp the same flower on the inside. And again, I'm going to do the two step. Same colors Blushing Bride and Mary Merlot. <laughs> and now we have a piece of designer series paper that is one inches, one inch by five and a half, the same size as the card, and I'm going to leave a little bit of a border along here. And the nice thing about glue is it gives you a little wiggle time, so you can move it. And then I'm going to adhere 
my piece for my sentiment or my inside greeting where you can write your greeting. And I'm just going to leave a tiny bit of a border around the top and the sides, but I want to butt it right up to that designer series paper. You could overlap it. Okay, now for the very front, we are taking um, one of the, the um, let me see, what is that called? Stitch so sweetly dies. This is the middle size one. Cut out. And we're going to adhere it on here. But first, I want to stamp my birthday wishes on here and I'm going to stamp it in Mary Molo and then we are going to adhere this just on this side because I if I put adhesive over here I'll glue the card shut so we are going to just put adhesive on the one side. And then I have cut it, went ahead and already cut out, or stamped I should say, a flower in old olive, completely in old olive, and then one in Blushing Bride. And I'm going to add the same two step in Mary Molo. So the flower looks more realistic. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fussy cut this off so that the old olive shows through and looks it looks more realistic so just go in and cut off the stem portion in between these flowers and then when you adhere it on here it gives you a more realistic flower And you just line it up like that. Now I'm going to pop this up and I know my birthday wishes isn't completely straight but that's okay. It's, once you put this flower on here and it's cro crooked your eye doesn't get drawn to the birthday wishes that's not perfectly straight. And there's nothing perfect about a homemade card. That's what makes it homemade and unique. The little imperfections. So I'm stamping this up on dimensionals. Sorry. And I'm going to put it on here a little bit cockeyed. I want to add some of the gold glitter enamel dots to bring in some more of the gold. And I'm going to randomly place these.
Maybe I'm going to move this one because I don't want it to bring such attention to the birthday wishes. We'll put it up here. And my final touch is I'm going to add a gold bow. And this gold is from the Forever Greenery ribbon combo. Or you could use the Blushing Bride ribbon from the Snail Mail twine combo. And just tie the bow. I'm going to take a little glue dot, stick it on here. put my bow on and there you have it hope you enjoyed this idea if you'd like to find more card inspiration please follow me on my blog at these are my stamps dot stamping with charity or you can catch me on Pinterest Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.